Good morning, boss. Today is Tuesday, October 26, 2021. I'm India. And I'm Gabe. Now let's take a look at today's menu. There's going to be a tater tot nacho bar with nacho meat or barbecue pork with your choice of mixed fruit or vegetable. And here's the menu for the next two days. Are you ready for the next step after high school? This Thursday, October 28th, is a virtual college fair from 5 to 7.45 p.m. Now let's take a break for Teacher of the Week. I'm Coach Sautel, and here at Parish Community High School, I teach PE, weight training, football, and track and field. As of right now, I do not have any clubs. No, no I do not. Eventually, maybe start like an FCA program, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, so eventually if I look more into that, I had it in my old high school when I went to, so I would like to maybe start, start doing that and develop that. Fortunately, maybe stay in school, get better grades, and that was my way of releasing my stress, my anxiety, just my anger, whatever I had penned up inside. I could play a sport and I can release all that and not get in trouble for it. 100%, I'm gonna look into it and if it's better what I'm doing, 100%, that's how you learn. You can't just be so close-minded to do your way, one way is the, on the way the highway. You know, you gotta be open to new ideas, new techniques and other ideas, yeah. I played the piano for eight years and I'm not too bad at it, I'm not too bad. Congratulations to all the theater classes who performed The Crucible last Thursday. You all did an amazing job and here's some highlights from the show. with your sports news. The next football home game will be the homecoming game Friday, November 5th. That night is also senior night, so come out and support our seniors. Swim had their district meet last weekend. Congrats to those Bulls. Cross Country has their district meet this weekend, October 30th. Good luck to them. Congrats to this year's volleyball season. Everyone did amazing. 
The first soccer game is November 10th versus the Manatee Hurricanes. On October 9th, the Pride of Paris marching band competed at Durant High School in the 2A division. They brought home five trophies that day, with only two-thirds of their show done. First and best auxiliary, first and best visuals, first and best general effect, first and best music, and first in their division. On October 23rd, the Pride of Parish Marching Band competed at Braden River High School and brought home six trophies that day with their completed show, making their trophy count 11. First and best auxiliary, first and best visuals, first and best general effect, and first and best music, first and best percussion, and first in their division. Trophies are displayed in the marching band room. Thanks, Jeffrey. The academic team had their second competition last Thursday at Braden River High School. They all had an amazing night. Spirit Week is November 1st through the 5th. If you didn't know, the movie night for the Tuesday was canceled. Instead, the Clash of Classes events will be Tuesday night. There will still be a tailgate on the Friday before the football game. The dress-up days have not changed and will remain the same. Here are the dress-up days of this year. Please remember that dress code is still in place, but you can add accessories like sunglasses or hats whenever needed for your costume. You know, that bonfire on Spirit Week sounds lit. <laughs> The homecoming dance is November 6th. Tickets are selling for $30 each. And make sure to scan the QR code on your screen now. As a reminder, NHS offers peer tutoring Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30 in Mrs. James's room 5136. Attention to all seniors. The website is now live to pay senior fees. Check Schoology for the QR code to fill out your cap and gown information. If you have any questions, please ask a senior advisor or a member of the Senior Advisory Board. Once again, if you have any announcements to be aired, please email pchstvproduction at gmail.com. However, we do need announcements by Monday, 7.30 a.m. to make the Tuesday show. That concludes this segment of Bullseye News. Thank you for watching, and as always, Go, Go Bulls! Bulls!